Hello, I thought I'd make you guys a quick video. Um, yeah, thank you for all the comments I got on um, my Fighter by Christina Aguilera anti-ed rant video. Um, I was just having like a really bad, bad body image day that day and I really just needed some, I don't know, rallying of spirits and so <laughs> I put on like a playlist of like anti-ed like girl power kind of songs and I was just like dancing around my room and then I'm like hmm I'm gonna record myself because I sent it actually to a friend of mine because I thought she'd find it funny um, and then I decided to put it on YouTube so um, yeah <laughs> it really helped actually it completely changed my mood so if you are feeling bad about your body and you just feel nasty and disgusting and huge and Ed is like really loud in your head yeah listen to a song that's like you know pro recovery anti-ed girl power like yeah <laughs> it just rock out to it it's so much fun I love doing that it's it's a blast but anyway um so life update um um uh, okay so a week ago if you read my blog you'll know what happened and I really don't really want to get into detail here because I really went into detail in my blog but a week ago I had a really really rough time went to the ER left the ER I was supposed to go to urgent care but didn't and anyway long story short um, I was really dehydrated and my potassium was low so um, yeah that sucked and I thought I was gonna die like I was up all night and it was just horrible and I don't ever want to do that ever again. So it was kind of a wake up call because um, I've been feeling really depressed lately. Um, two weeks prior to my episode last week, um, I was just feeling so low, like low, 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 low. Um, I stayed in my bedroom all day. Like after work, I just go straight to my bedroom. My parents were like worried about me. Um, I just. I, I just felt done, done with trying to recover, done with fighting Ed, done with living with an eating disorder. I was just done with life. Like, I would never, I don't think I'd ever take my life, like, you know, commit suicide, but I was just done. Like, I wanted to die at that point, and um, I think part of it had to do with getting my period back um and it was the second time I've had it um a, a real one so it was probably like my hormones and I'm going to talk to my doctor about maybe going on birth control because I can't do that every month like I really can't that just completely I was doing like, I was ugh, I was doing so well and I was like becoming less and less um engaged with my eating disorder um behaviors were you know dwindling and that's a fun word dwindling <laughs> sorry um and I was doing so good and then that depression hit and it was the week before my period and then the week like during and sorry I know this is TMI but if guys watch this just get over it girls have periods and it's part of our life like we don't want it we don't really like it either but we can't do anything about it so <laughs> um <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, so I can't do that every month. And I might ask him about birth control because I just, I don't, I don't think I can do that. But anyway, so I have my little episode at the very end of the whole depression thing. And it kind of was a wake up call. And I've been doing a lot better this last week. Today's day four of no behaviors. Yay me. Um, and I just... I guess what I'm doing right now is I'm not even thinking of purging as an option. Like, I don't even let that thought enter my mind because when it does enter your mind as an option, that's when you get yourself in trouble because then it's like, it becomes more and more appealing. It's an option in your head. It's like, oh, I could just purge and feel better and not feel as full and not gain any weight. I mean, theoretically. Um, but... I don't even let my mind go there. Like, if it starts to go there, I'm just like, no, it's not an option. It ain't an option. 
Um, so that's actually been working for me. Um, so, and I haven't been restricting, which is another reason why I'm not ending up, you know, binging and purging because I'm not starving myself. So, um, yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> um, I had a really good session with my therapist this week, like a really good session. And I'm going to make a whole video about it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, at, for the first few days, I wasn't even ready to talk about it. I couldn't talk about it. I couldn't even think about what we talked about in my session, but now it's like kind of sinking in and I'm trying to like accept it. But, um, maybe I'll make a different video about that sometime. But anyway, yes, I had a realization, a sudden realization, also known as an epiphany, which I learned in ninth grade English class. I know, I still remember where I learned that word. It's kind of weird. Um, sorry, guys. Sorry. I say sorry way too much, but you know me by now. You know I'm kind of crazy. But, um, yeah, I have I just took um, the longest bath ever, and I shaved, and I lathered my body in Bath and Body Works lotion, and my hair's still wet, and I'm wearing no makeup, but that's okay because I feel so wonderful. I love doing self-care like it really makes me feel better like treating my body with kindness and just yes good body nice body um but yeah so tomorrow um early morning like 4 4 a.m um my family is going on a vacation and i'll be gone two weeks and i'm really excited you have no idea like i've been actually kind of like anxious about it for several reasons but now that it's kind of here I'm like okay I'm ready for this I'm ready for um, a break I'm ready for a break from work and just life and I'm ready for this so um it's actually going to be a long day because we're traveling a lot um but there's a reason for the way we're traveling <laughs> we're driving um seven or eight hours down to Redmond Oregon and we're going to leave our car there because there's a reason. <laughs> and then we're uh, flying from Redmond to Portland and then Portland to LA in California. And then we're getting a rental car and driving to San Diego. My dad is speaking at a conference there. And in fact, it is the same conference that he was supposed to speak at last year. And this was the same trip I was supposed to go on last year, but instead he canceled it. And the same day I was supposed to go, to LA, I, um, I went to Remuda. I went to inpatient treatment. <laughs> Boo. So I feel like this is like a redo. Like, I'm making everything right by not making my family cancel their vacation, and I'm going, and I'm healthy. I'm like, a normal weight, and it's like, exciting. <sighs> so yeah, we'll be in San Diego for about a week and my dad will do his little conference thing, and I will be by the pool pretty much, soaking up the sun and just chilling. And then we are driving back up to LA and doing Disneyland and California Adventure for four days, and you have no idea, like, my dad and I, we are, like, Disney fanatics. Like, my dad goes online, and he's part of this, like, forum that talks about, like, everything Disney. Like, it's really funny, but, um... Yeah, I am so excited to go on the new Cars ride, and I don't know, there's just so many fun things I'm excited about. Um, and then we are flying from LA to Portland to Redmond again, and then we're staying at Sun River Resort, which is Sun River Valley. It's like this really pretty place in Oregon. We have friends that have a house there, and we're going to be staying there for like one, two, three, four days or something, four or five days. And... Um, I lost my train of thought because I only have 30 seconds left. Uh, okay, when I upload from my phone, it only lets me do 10 minutes, even though I can do more if I upload it from my... I'm Okay, I'm wasting time. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's my cousin Colette's wedding, and I'm so excited for her wedding, and we're going to be getting pedicures and manicures together, and... It'll just be nice to see family. I'm also nervous about it because there's some family stuff I have to take care of that I'm not excited about that I can't exactly talk about, but, ah. But, 
yes, I will hopefully be updating you guys while I'm down there. I'll try to make you guys some videos. So much love. And I will talk to you guys soon. So, okay. Bye.